Hi, my name is Camille and thank you for joining me. Uh, a little bit about me, I'm married to Charlie and we have four kids, ages two, four, six, and eight right now. And then I'm also 24 weeks pregnant and we're expecting a baby in January. So I just wanted to get on here today and have a little chat about why we chose to do homeschool this year, 2020, and um, how it's going so far. We've done about 30 school days so far. And so I thought it'd be a good time to just kind of share how it's going so far. This is our first year ever doing homeschooling. I had wanted to do it for a couple of years, but fear was holding me back. I did not think that I would be a good homeschool teacher, that it would maybe cause strife in our family with our kids. And um, I just didn't have the confidence to try it out. But then last year, um, in the longest spring break ever, we had to be home and we had to be teaching our kids. And of course the wonderful teachers were doing their best to give us what we had to do. Um, but during that time, I kind of started to discover, you know, I can do this. I can do this and I think I can do it well. So this year I had kind of been dragging my feet on making a decision. So we actually started the year, we did the first week of distance learning and then they were starting to talk about that, oh, in a, in a you know, few weeks, we'll be able to come back into school because the numbers have dropped a lot here where we live. Um, and I just kind of felt a check in my spirit. I kind of felt a, you know, oh, I don't think I should send them back. I should really try to homeschool like I've been wanting to do. Um, and then, you know, we were just enjoying not having to do the morning rush. Anyway, all that. My husband and I talked about it, we prayed about it, and we thought about it, and we decided, hey, if there's ever a year to try this out, let's do it. It's the right thing for our family to do this year. We wanna make sure that our kids have some consistency in their lives, because you know, with going back to school, there's always the possibility of another outbreak and them having to come back to school, I mean, back home. And so I guess, you know, the whole cliche saying in these uncertain times, um, we wanted to make sure that there's consistency in our kids' lives and we really felt the urge to have a greater part than we've been having to put more effort into forming our kids. Um, and I have just have a desire to do the homeschool. So we thought this would be a great year. Of all the years to try it out, this is a good one to <laughs> try it out. So then in the preparation of actually starting to homeschool, this is what we did. We, um, oh, actually, before I talk about that, I do want to say this. This video is more about like, if you have a desire to homeschool, you can do it type of thing. My message is not homeschool is the only way. And if you don't homeschool your kids, then you hate them and you don't have a part in their lives, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, that is not my saying. That's not what my message is at all. You just need to do what's right for your family and um, don't be worried about it. Because actually, apart from just the fears, like I said, this is a chat, it's, it's a chatty chat. But apart from the fears that I had about not being good enough to homeschool my kids, also, I was a little bit worried about what people would think. So regardless of what you are choosing to do during this season, we just need to not be concerned about that. You have to do what's right for your family. Um, and you decide that, nobody else. So then I had to start to research. So I had never actually delved into really researching homeschooling. And boy, was it super overwhelming, like really overwhelming, because there's probably literally thousands of homeschool curriculums to choose from, programs to choose from, endless resources. So there's a lot at your disposal that you can use, but it's very overwhelming because you have to choose some of them. So, and then there's lots of different schools of thought when it comes to homeschooling. Um, so after a little bit of research of just reading, I started to look up some YouTube videos and that really helped to actually put some flesh and blood to, um, to this whole concept 
And then I also talked to some friends who had been homeschooled or who currently homeschool their kids. And that just gave me a lot of insight and it actually really helped me to calm down because I can overthink sometimes. And I was definitely doing that. Um, so it didn't all have to be perfect right away. So after you know doing all this research, I kind of figured out, you know what, this first year is about, gonna be about our family getting into a groove of this and figuring out what works for us and what doesn't and all of that. So I did some research and I chose some curriculums that looked good to me after reading reviews and all of that. So I did that, but I also am aware that, you know, maybe at the end of this year, we'll decide to do something else and that's okay. It's totally fine. So I started the research and then I looked into um, what you have to do legally to homeschool in your state. So in my state, it's pretty easy. So you have to look into how to legally homeschool in your state. That's an important thing to do. So for us, it's pretty easy here where we live um, to do. So I just took the steps and I did that. I ordered the curriculum I needed and once we had it and we just started with some simple supplies, basically like the simple arts and crafts supplies we already had here at home. Um, I bought a couple of things just to get a little bit organized, but I didn't spend a ton of money. We just really wanted to keep it simple, so we did. And we just got started. And I just really enjoy it. That is how it's going so far. We are loving it. I am loving it. Um, it's definitely what I should have been doing. <laughs> I don't have any regrets or anything like that, but um, it's definitely, I just love it. I love the freedom that we have with our time and with what we choose to include in our curriculum. Um, I just really love that aspect of it. Our family culture has really just blossomed during this time um, because of it. So, and then the, the kids, so what do the kids think about it? They love it too. They have started to whine a little bit more when it's time to do certain subjects. So, but once we get it, once I encourage them and we get into it, they enjoy it and they like it and then they feel good when they're done. Um, and we're usually done in like two or three hours, um, four hours max, depending on what we're doing that day. So I'll do another video on all of our curriculums and then probably one about like what we do in a day for homeschool, that kind of thing. But I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of how it's going so far. We are really enjoying it. We're loving it and looking forward to seeing what else happens. It's really def definitely an adventure and, um, there's a lot more to learn and I'm excited about that. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me for this chatty chat about homeschool and, um, and how it's going so far for us in this crazy time. So, oh, something else I wanted to talk about. So then once we got into a little bit of a groove, like after the first few days of starting our homeschool, we, I started looking into the groups in our area. So obviously there's not many that are meeting right now. I had a hard time finding one, but I did finally find one <laughs> near us that just meets at a park. So it's outside and it's just a wonderful time. So it's once a week, it's just a play date. It's not a co-op or anything like that. Cause I really just wanted to get into a groove with our family first of doing our school and then we'll start adding in the extracurriculars and you know music and dance and sports or whatever later on once we feel comfortable with what we're doing so this is just a play date which is the only thing the kids were missing of course was new friends so it's great it's once a week i get to chat with some other moms who homeschool i'm actually the only one in the group that is a new homeschooler they've all been homeschooling since the beginning and they have a lot of kids so it's great because I can ask them questions and kind of get different perspectives there as well. Um, it's just a really good community. And then the kids just love it. They have a blast, they play and are nice and tired. <laughs> so then when we get home, it's quiet time, which is always good. So um, that's definitely something that is important when you're homeschooling is making sure that there's community still. So yeah that is pretty much it about how it's going so far thank you for joining me in this video 
and I look forward to seeing you in another one soon. Comment below if you have specific questions about homeschooling, about how it's going for us, and um, if you have any tips or anything like that, include that too, because why not? That'd be great. All right, well, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.